Now let's take more examples based on LL1 passing table. Suppose this is the given example, given grammar. B, C, epsilon, and C generates small c as epsilon. Okay. Suppose this is the given grammar. Now we have to check whether this grammar is LL1 or not. Okay. So we have to find out first. So here there are two productions, right? S generates AB and S generates epsilon. So first of all, first of S will be small a. Okay. From this production, we got small a and S generates epsilon. So we have to find out fall of S and fall of S will be, fall of S will be dollar, right? And here also fall of S will be, there is nothing here. So fall of S will be fall of C here in this case. In this case, we have to find fall of S, right? Because there is epsilon, see, S generates epsilon. So whenever there is epsilon, we have to find fall of left hand side. Fall of S, where is S, where S is present? S is present here in this production. So after S, there is nothing. So we have to find, we have to find fall of first S, then fall of C. Because there is nothing after S, so we have to find fall of left hand side. And fall of C is there is nothing after C, so fall of C is fall of B. Fall of B. And after B, there is nothing, so fall of S. So fall of S will be simply dollar here. Clear? So now let's uh, come to this production, these productions, B generates BC. So from this production, we are getting first of B as small b. And here, if we have this, so fall of B, fall of B is again fall of S that is dollar. So we are getting dollar here. Now for this production, first of C is small c. And from this production, fall of C is again here after C, fall of B, fall of B is dollar. So we are getting dollar here. So if you compare these two, there is nothing common. Here it is A, here it is dollar. If you compare these two, B, dollar. If you compare these two, C, dollar. So there is nothing common. That means we don't have multiple productions in a single cell. Okay, so this grammar is LL1 grammar. Clear? So one thing you should note down here is, you should never compare two productions, two productions which are having different left hand sides. Okay, we are not comparing this and this. Okay, we are not comparing this and this because these productions are having different left hand side here it is s here it is b we only compare the productions which are having the same left hand side so here we have this and we have this so these productions we are we have to compare because they are having same left hand side why we have to compare the productions which are having same left hand side because then only if there is something common in between these then only the, in that case we have to fill we have to fill the productions in the single cell for s variable right when we when we draw the uh, ll1 parsing table so when when we say there are multiple productions when for a single variable s we are having multiple productions right that's why we have to compare only two production uh, only the productions which are having the same left hand side okay so this grammar is LL1. Now let's see more examples. S generates AB. Okay. A generates small a epsilon. B generates small b epsilon. Okay. So now calculate first of these. So first of S is first of A. First of A is small a. Okay and a also generates epsilon so if we put epsilon here so s first of s will be first of b first of b is small b as b or can also generate epsilon so epsilon epsilon so s will generate it will be f generates epsilon so fall of s and fall of s is 
dollar right now come to this for these productions first of is first of a is small a okay and a generates epsilon a generates epsilon so first of a will be here it is epsilon so fall of a fall of a is first of b so first of b is small b and if it is epsilon then fall of a will be fall of s so it will be dollar right now first of b is small b and we also have these productions so first of b as it is epsilon here so we have to calculate fall of b fall of b there is nothing there so we have to take fall of s and fall of s is dollar right now compare these two productions there is nothing common in between compare these two productions there is nothing common that means no conflicts no conflicts nothing is common so we can say this production this grammar is l11 grammar okay let's take more example suppose we have something like this okay this is small c now <clears throat> so we have to write first of all the productions so first of s is small a okay we got small a here and there is one more production which is this s generates epsilon so fall of s fall of s is first of a right first of s is first of a is small c here and if i put epsilon here so fall of s will be dollar right because there is nothing here so dollar in case of starting symbol now in this case first of a is small c okay and we have this production also also so first of a as this is epsilon so we have to calculate fall of a okay fall of a there is nothing there so fall of s and fall of s is again c and dollar as we have calculated here as well so fall of s is c because c here we have a generates epsilon so as this is epsilon we have to calculate fall of <coughs> we have to calculate fall of a fall of a there is nothing there so fall of s fall of s and in case of fall of s we have a so first of a first of a is c so we got this c and a generates epsilon so fall of s will nothing will be there in case of epsilon so fall of s will be dollar clear so these are the these are the two first of these two productions now compare these two productions nothing in common here it is a c dollar nothing is common no conflicts now compare this c c right we have c here and c here as well so there is conflict that means there are multiple entries in a single cell multiple entries in a single cell right so we can say this grammar is not ll1 clear now let's take one more example suppose we have something like this a b epsilon c generates small c capital c epsilon okay suppose this is the given grammar and we have to find we have to find whether this grammar is ll1 or not so <clears throat> as this is a single production so we don't have to worry about it right still we we will we can write it first of s is first of a first of a is first of b first of b is small a clear now and b is b can be epsilon as well so if you put epsilon here so first of a will be small b as well first of a first of a can be capital c as well so capital c first of c first of c is small c can be small c and epsilon can first of c can be epsilon here so if you put epsilon here so first of a will be d as well right now let's come back to this these productions so first of a again we have calculated it so it will be same 
okay c comma d now come back to this production these productions first of b is small a okay and b can be epsilon as well so fall of b fall of b is small b so we will get small b here now come to this first of c is small c okay and c can be epsilon as well so fall of c fall of c is small d now check whether there is conflict or not a b c d nothing in common a b c d nothing in common a b nothing in common c d nothing in common so we can say that there is no conflict that means this grammar is ll1 grammar as well clear now you should note down uh, the important points here which is uh, <coughs> any grammar which is lr that means left recursive any grammar which is left recursive cannot be used for ll1 right so let me down uh, let me write down here any grammar any grammar which is left recursive so that cannot be that cannot be ll1 why because ll1 is top down parser without backtracking and we know left recursive grammars does not work properly with top down parsers so when, when grammar is left recursive it cannot be ll1 clear when grammar is non deterministic non deterministic then also it cannot be ll1 right and suppose we have we have uh, remove we have converted into a right recursive and suppose we have also uh, converted into deterministic then then still we cannot guarantee we cannot guarantee that the grammar will be ll1 because it can be ambiguous also so removing these two things that means our uh, left recursion and non deterministic nature cannot guarantee that we have converted that ambiguous grammar into unambiguous so if a grammar is ambiguous then also it cannot be ll1 right so you have to remember these points these are very important when a grammar is left recursive it cannot be ll1 when grammar is non deterministic then also it cannot be ll1 if grammar is ambiguous then also it cannot be ll1 clear and removing left recursion and non deterministic not always guarantee that we have uh, we have removed the ambiguity right we have discussed in the previous lectures as well this thing okay so these are the important points and i would like to add a few more points here a regular grammar a regular grammar a regular grammar can be ambiguous can be ambiguous right so a regular grammar can be ambiguous and an ambiguous grammar an ambiguous grammar cannot be ll1 right therefore we can say that therefore we can say that every every regular grammar is not ll1 see a regular grammar can be ambiguous right and as we know that ambiguous grammar is not ll1 so we can say that every regular grammar is not ll1 because there can be some regular grammars which are ambiguous and that ambiguous grammar cannot be ll1 so this is the conclusion every regular grammar is not ll1 clear now one more point important point is every regular language every regular language is unambiguous clear every regular every regular language is unambiguous that is for every regular language there exist at least one grammar there exist at least one grammar which is unambiguous so we have a regular language so there can be at there will be at least one grammar which is which is unambiguous there will be at least one grammar which is unambiguous so therefore it is true that every regular language or every regular set has ll1 grammar clear because it is an ambiguous so it can be ll1 as well okay so these are the important points you should note down clear 
and let me repeat that when, when to uh, when we have to check for ll1 okay when we have to check for ll1 we have to compare the productions which are having which are having same left hand side right we have to compare only that and we have to see if there is something common in between the two first of these productions then that grammar will be not ll1 clear so in the next next lecture we will discuss recursive decent grammar recursive de recursive decent parsers okay